In this lesson, we take a look at adding up to 20. We've got a number of stars and some more stars. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So our first group, we've got 8 stars. And let's write plus. Then we've got 1, 2, 3. So altogether, we've got 8 plus 3. What does that equal? Well, again, from the start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it equals 11. Sometimes we'll just have the number sentence, 7 plus 9. You might already know the answer. That's great if you do. If not, we can use some objects to help us out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's our 7 and 9. And to add them all together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So our answer equals 16. Fantastic. Now, Another way of doing this sort of thing is to come up with a few boxes. Each of those grids can fit five dots in. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Quite useful. How many dots? Hmm. Well, rather than count them up, one, two, three, etc., we can count five, ten, and two more makes twelve. How many we got here? Well, 5 and 3 is 8. What about now? 5, 10, 15. I've got 15 dots there. Hmm, how many this time? 5, 10, 15, and 4 more makes 19. Now, we can have something like this. We've got 7 dots there. And another four dots. In other words, seven plus four. Now, a way of doing this, we can move the dots around to fill up the rows. Let's start moving them across. Right, now once they're moved like that, we can say five, ten, and one more is eleven. We've got nine there, and eight. So nine plus eight. Again, let's move the dots. Okay, in this case, just moved one dot. So we've got 5, 10, 15, and two more is 17. Now here we've got 4 and 8. So 4 plus 8. Well, there's a few ways we can move the dots around. Here's one of the ways. We can move it across this way. So now we've got 5, 10, and two more is 12. 